today a lot of them study in a very dilettante, amateur fashion, which means the repertoire is completely different. You know, I can play Broadway show tunes. Well, not exactly. I didn't study Broadway show tunes. I was playing pieces by traditional composers, Mozart, Schubert, Haydn, Mendelssohn, it doesn't matter. I was not doing watered down versions. Uh, students today study piano, unfortunately, who get serious too late because they've lost the childhood in it. Um, it's treated like ice skating, horseback riding. Uh, I'll go to the movies and if I have 20 minutes, I'll play the, I'll play the piano. Excuse me, that's not... I, comp I, I talk to my students, uh, what age does an Olympic athlete start their swimming training or ice skating? You tell me. Four or five, when they fall out of the, out of the crib, they're already perfecting. You read about it, you know. Before they go to school, they're at the swimming stadium at 5 and a.m. That's a different dedication. And what does this do to? Lack of support from the parents. No support for the arts in the public schools. None. It's at the lowest possible point. Um, so if it doesn't come from the parents and it doesn't come from the early schooling, where is it going to come? Suddenly you arrive in college and say, gee, I want to be a concert pianist. Well, you're a little bit late for this. It's not that I'm going to say it's impossible. We've known many pianists, not a lot, who traditionally have started their careers in their 20s, 30s, and 40s. It's also the pressure of competition. And I've served on a lot of juries, I've been a participant, I'm now on the other side of the fence sitting in juries, and I know what's going on. I mean, if you're 18, that's fine. When you're 20, well, you're already getting older. The world is youth-orientated. And it's one avenue of making a career, but not necessarily. So are they gearing it to the performance? Then the competition is their best avenue, when you think about it. But there's a tremendous amount of distractions. We live in a high-tech age. We know that right now it's snowing in Beijing, where you didn't know that when I grew up. We have a tremendous amount of information. Now what do I do with it? And how do I use it? It's very important. And the high-tech age has, the downside is, the human relationship is lost. See, we're talking together, you know? A student is looking at a computer all day. Or looking in the music. A studying piano is a very isolated business. You're closeted with an instrument by yourself. So you don't have, quote, that kind of concentration with the outside word. It's not like playing chamber music or being in an orchestra where you have groups of people together. Pianists work in isolation a lot. And until they get to work with people together in a master class or somewhere, where are they going to get a support system and a camaraderie? You're talking about graduate school? Thornton School is part of a university, USC. That's the phenomena of America. Music schools are parts of universities. In Europe, you go to university to study engineering, chemistry, physics, whatever. It's unheard of to study music in a university. Now it's more prevalent. But what is the instruction is through the conservatory, conserv Conservatoire, the Hochschule is, uh, and we have only a couple of schools like that in the United States. Juilliard, Curtis, other schools are taught the Peabody. They're also tied to universities. So it's a complete different situation. So it's, this is a finishing situation. Um, you're speaking at the graduate level. We have masters, we have doctoral which is a recent phenomena. Only doctorates have been in a, around, f let's go with 1960. So what is that? 47, 48 years, a DMA, a Doctor of Musical Arts. 
Uh, Thornton gives a graduate certificate, which is a non-degree. We have an artist diploma, which is like a postgraduate finishing. Um, and of course, the bachelor's degree. So we offer three degrees and two non, the graduate certificate. And, and that's for the finishing artist. There's a great big difference and what's demanded of them. So within the university, which I encourage and I like to know, what are you studying here? Are you taking chemistry or not? And if not, are you just in the music program? I have several students who are double majors, which is fascinating. One is in chemistry and the other in neuroscience or whatever. I th that's great because the broad-based student has the advantage of the university here. It's for them to take advantage of it or not. I mean, we're not just a little enclave sitting here. Mm -hmm. There's a whole part of the university, which is great.